Today I want to talk about the differences and interactions between open practices, closed practices, exoteric practices, and esoteric practices. Let's start with some definitions. An open practice is a practice that permits people who are not members of the group to whom the practice belongs to participate in that practice. A closed practice does not allow participation by non-members. Exoteric means that something is either common knowledge or the knowledge is permitted to be public. Esoteric, on the other hand, means that the knowledge is not public, or rather it is secret. And they form a Punnett square. Many practices are both open and exoteric, which is to say common knowledge. For example, most church services can be attended by anyone, and it's not really any sort of secret what happens in them. Hanging prayer flags and spinning prayer wheels are also both open and exoteric. There are also non-secret practices which can be closed. The observance of Shabbat is closed. Observing Shabbat in the Jewish manner is only supposed to be done by Jews. But it's not a secret of what it is. Likewise, Catholic communion is exoteric but closed. It's totally fine to talk about what happens at a communion, but in order to participate in a Catholic communion, you must be Catholic. Open esoteric practices are much more rare because once a practice is open, it's really hard to keep it secret, but they do exist. Certain shamanic rituals and consultations fall into this category. Anyone can go to see the shaman, but what happens during the ceremony is something that they may be sworn into secrecy about, thereby making it an esoteric experience that anyone can participate in. There are a lot of esoteric practices that are closed. Esoteric and closed practices are much more common. One example would be many of the practices of Mongolian shamanism. In order to be a shaman in most of the traditional Mongolian traditions, you must have a traceable Mongolian bloodline and you definitely have to be initiated. Otherwise, that door is closed. The initiation rites, ceremonies, etc. are also often secret and you may not share them with anyone who is not also an initiated shaman. Another example of a closed esoteric tradition is Mormon wedding rites. The wedding rituals of the LDS church are only known to those who have already participated in it, and they must be temple members of the Church of Latter-day Saints. In fact, even visiting the temple in Salt Lake City could be considered a closed esoteric practice. There are also different levels of open and closed and esoteric and exoteric. For example, some traditions are much easier to become a member of. For example, Catholicism, while others may not allow outsiders to become members at all. For example, no one can convert to the Druze religion. Likewise, some things are super, super secret, while others are mostly secret. I hope this helps you better understand these concepts. 